don't get caught out in the TMUA. This question looks easy and most people might try it and think it's easy and they'll probably get the answer wrong. This is a nice question. I really like this one because it forces you to really understand um, well, the various different concepts going on here. This problem isn't from a TMUA past paper. It actually comes from a bank of problems that I've created over the years. So uh, I'm actually releasing some of those in this TMUA masterclass series I've got coming up. So if you don't know who I am, I studied maths at Oxford, and now I'm helping students all across the globe who want to study maths or similar things at Oxford and Cambridge. I'm running a TMUA masterclass. I'll give you some more details about that in a second. Anyway, let's have a look at this problem. We want to find all values of a in the reals such that ln of x squared plus 6x equals ln of x plus a plus 1 uh, has one real solution. So this is an equation in x, and depending on a, this will have some number of real solutions. We want to know the, the values of a that mean this equation has exactly one real solution. Okay, I'm going to show you the way not to do this first. Um, I'm, what I'll briefly show you is to kind of simplify this and get x squared plus 6x equals e times x plus a. Turn this into a quadratic x squared plus 6 minus e x plus or minus, sorry, e a equals 0. And then just because it's one real solution, discriminant, make it equal to 0. And so you get 6 minus e squared plus 4 e a equals 0. And so that means that a is equal to minus 6 minus e squared all over 4 e. Now, you might think that that's correct, but it's not. And that's because either you've done things too quickly or you don't really have a good understanding of logarithms or discriminants or maybe something else. Um, but I'm going to be showing you the correct way to solve this and actually to get to the correct answer. This is not the correct answer. Let's dive in. But as I say, if you are interested in joining the TMEA Masterclass and want to have some more information on it, email me or send me an, an Instagram DM. I'll leave my details in the, con uh, in the contract below, in the description below. Um, there are only a few spaces left, so if you are interested in signing up, do let me know ASAP. Anyway, let's have a look at how we actually are supposed to solve this. It's with my favorite tool, graphs. So we're going to do the same first step. We're going to still, um, from this, deduce that x squared plus 6x equals e times x plus a. But we, we want this to kind of be if and only if, where possible. But it's at the moment not if and only if. Because if this is true, then for sure this is true. But if x squared plus 6x equals e times x plus a, we can't actually deduce this. At least not yet. If we add in the further condition that x squared plus 6x is positive and x plus a is positive, so we can take the logarithms on both sides, then this becomes reversible, which is what we want. Okay, cool. Now, this is kind of why it's a bit fiddly to just set the discriminant to zero because you've got all these like small little conditions at the end we've got to be mindful of. How are we going to solve this? Well, with a picture, of course. Let's sketch y equals x squared plus 6x. Looks like that. And now let's sketch y equals ex plus a, uh, which is obviously going to be a straight line with gradient e. Uh, and notice at the origin, and this will become important in a moment, at the origin, the gradient of this parabola is 6. So 2x, the derivative of this is 2x plus 6, sub in x is 0, you get 6. So therefore, this straight line, e x plus a, is obviously a straight line with gradient e. But I'll maybe expand it out. And the idea is this line is, it has a constant gradient e, and a is just going to vary the y-intercept. So if I move this line over here, maybe I'll make that a bit longer. So this line, if a is 0, it's going to pass through the origin there. And if I increase a, it's going to move up like this. And if I bring a down, it's going to move down like so. But of course, as I said a second ago, the gradient of the parabola at the origin is 6. And so this is e. e is smaller than 6. So let me make this line oopsie-daisy. Let me just get rid of this line and draw a new one uh, with a shallower gradient. So maybe something like that. So this is going to be the line y equals e x plus a. Cool. Now the idea is this is when a is zero, at least how I've drawn it, when it passes through the origin, and we're moving it up and down. Now we want this black line to intersect the green parabola exactly once, except we're only looking on the green parabola where x squared plus 6x is positive. So if I highlight that, that's this region here. Oops, so in fact, I want the black line and the green to, uh, uh, to in so the green highlighted bit to intersect exactly once. And now we can kind of see how this would work, because if I bring this line up slightly, so if A is slightly positive, you can see there's going to be some intersection here where my cursor is. And if I continue to bring this line up, 
So in other words, increase A, I'm going to still have this point of intersection over here on this right segment, all the way up until I hit down here. So when I bring the line up, 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 until I hit this bit here. And so the question is, well, what, what, what is this value? Well, we know that that's minus 6. And so if the, the line y equals e times x plus a has an x-intercept of 6, a minus 6, that means that a must be 6. And so therefore, what are the range of possible values of a? Well, a could be 6. That is allowed because when a equals 6, we have exactly one solution, this guy here. This one doesn't count because uh, at this point, x squared plus 6x is 0. And as we said, x squared plus 6x, 6x has to be positive. So a can be equal to 6. And what's the lower bound? Well, it's 0, as we said a second ago. So if we bring this line back down, even if a is 0 0.01 like this, that's fine. There's still just about a point of intersection there. But when a is 0, this line passes through the origin. And so this point here is 0, 0. So x squared plus 6x is 0. So we can't have that. So sorry. A is any number between zero, uh, oh, sorry, A is strictly bigger than zero, but less than or equal to six. And that is how we solve this problem. What's the moral of the story? It's, to be honest, just sketch a graph. That's uh, the way that you solve lots of these problems. And that's the biggest thing that I see as a tutor, students who approach this problem with the A-level mindset of, oh, I just need to rearrange this. Oh, I just need to set the discriminant equal to zero. Doesn't always work. This is a great example of it. If you want to see more of these problems, do sign up to my TMU Masterclass. If you want some more information about that, just shoot me a message. I'll leave all the information for that uh, down below. I'll leave another video, vi video, I can't speak today, another video on the screen where I solve another one of these problems from my bank of TMUA and MAT style problems. Go check that out.